Hi, I'm Greg, also known as Greg Adventure. I'm your instructor on 3drundown.com, and today we're going to talk about replacing your Creality S1 or S1 Pro's magnetic bed with a Creality glass bed. I'm here with a Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer. This printer comes with a magnetic print bed. Many of you like this magnetic print bed. Many of you like these type of print beds because it's easier, easier for bed adhesion. However, a lot of you are having trouble with the S1 and the S1 Pro and the S1 Plus because you're finding out that these beds aren't level or they're warped or they're dimpled or there's something about them that causes the machine's auto bed leveling mesh to underperform. Also, there are other setbacks to this print bed. For one, it's often difficult to remove your PLA. For example, your skirt, especially if your Z offset is a touch lower than normal, you might find your skirt is practically embedded in this magnetic print bed. You might be unable to remove a failed print that had a Z offset or a tramming issue because it ground the PLA again into the print bed, and now you're stuck with a bed that looks like this. PLA drags all over it, and you just can't get it off. Add to this the fact that using spatulas and scrapers can easily damage this surface, and you've got a print bed that's less than ideal. The solution to this is to ditch the magnetic print bed and replace it with glass. Glass beds are much more durable, have excellent adhesion, can handle cleanings and scrapings without damage, can handle Z offset issues without damage, and can easily have nearly all PLA mistakes removed by simply using IPA to clean the bed and peel off the PLA. And even in the most drastic situations, a simple razor blade and some IPA will remove your PLA and return your glass to its near original condition. However, the main argument to switch your magnetic bed to glass is to resolve your bed leveling issues. By placing glass on top of the plate, it'll rectify any potential inconsistencies with the level of the actual plate the magnetic bed is sitting on. By placing a flat piece of glass over it, you're doing away with all those issues that may present themselves by having such a thin magnetic bed sitting directly on top of that plate. The best part about glass is it's super affordable and super easy to replace. Should you decide you don't like the particular glass bed you have, you can simply take it off and drop a new one on. It would only set you back about $10 or $15 and could instantly resolve issues you're having. So let's talk about how to go about replacing this magnetic bed with a glass bed. In front of me, I have a Creality glass bed. It's 235 by 235. Keep in mind the S1 and the S1 Pro both use 235 by 235. Some of you confuse printable area with bed size. The bed size is 235. The printable area is 220 by 220. Here is my Creality glass bed. To get started, we are gonna leave the printer off and pull it forward. You can move it by hand because your steppers are powered down. Simply grab the tabs and pick it up. That's it you've removed your troublesome magnetic bed. Open up your glass bed, place your magnetic bed into the box of the glass bed and forget it ever existed. Now we've got the glass bed, you are simply going to place it directly on top of the magnet. Yes, there is some debate. Do I have to remove the magnet or can I place the bed directly on top of the magnet? Will the glass fuse itself to the magnet? Will the glass heat properly with the magnet? I'm here to tell you no. The glass will not fuse itself to the magnet. And yes, the glass will heat properly on top of the magnet. Then you're going to head over to your local Dollar Tree or Walmart or Target, and you're going to get a simple, cheap $1 or $2 package of binder clips. Take the binder clips and clip them right here on the corners of the bed. You're gonna notice I don't even go all the way forward. I go about halfway. And the one key issue is over here in the corner by the power. You're going to need to put it in even shorter. Just be real gentle. Make sure you're not contacting the electronics underneath. 
and you're done. That's it. That's all there is to it. I removed the magnetic bed, I clipped on the glass bed, and I'm done. Now, before you print, your tramming and your Z offset are always your responsibility. I would check your tramming with the paper method. I would check your Z offset also with the paper method, and I'd run a new auto bed level. Then I'd run a test print and see how it goes. If you have any issues, please visit my Z offset video on how to dial that in perfectly for clean first layer prints. Other than that, your process of tramming this and setting your Z and auto bed leveling mesh should be very simple and you'll probably have it completed and successful in your very first print. Something worth mentioning is that this is new glass. You may have one of two issues. Either A, trouble with adhesion. In that situation, sometimes I've found certain glass beds require almost a bit of seasoning or breaking in. I clean it with IPA, I print, I clean it with IPA, I print, and over time, it starts to work better and better. However, recently with newer glass beds I've been receiving, I'm finding the opposite. The glass bed's adhesion is excessively strong and you need to be really careful and take your time and be gentle removing the print from the bed. And over time, it eases itself up a little bit while still holding strong enough for successful prints. So if you're someone who believes that glass is troublesome or difficult for bed adhesion, you might be pleasantly surprised to find out that it's quite the opposite with your new glass bed. So dial in your Z, make a nice ABL mesh, and get to work printing on your new S1 or S1 Pro with a shiny new glass bed and forget that magnetic bed ever existed. I'm Greg, also known as Greg Adventure, and I'm your instructor on 3drundown.com. If you enjoyed this video, please consider my course and learn with me to become a better and more successful 3D printer.